So it's not, a, not, not only me who's wondering if this might be the avenue they, they go down, but yeah, I think that there is a storyline related to Siri when she pops off to all those other worlds. I agree. Things. Yeah. You know, if I were developing the next Witcher game, that's where I would go because there's so much there that they can work with. Um, so my personal opinion, that's all it is. It's only an this opinion. This isn't confirmation. <laughs> this is not confirmation. Let's I get know that nothing. out of the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, my, my feeling is that that's probably going to be a strong consideration for the next Witcher game. Yeah. And I'm, you know, it's not going to be out for a while, guys. <laughs> it's yeah. years and years away. Let's let's just yeah, be sure of that. Yeah, we're four or five years probably. Yeah, even, probably even more. Um, I mean, they've said they've already started working on it. We just, they haven't said at what stage they're at. So it's probably yeah. very early days. Yeah, I think so. But do you, does that mean that, do you think, if it is that series storyline, do you think Geralt would have much of a impact on that or would be side character or nothing at all it's hard to know could, could be yeah. any of those three yeah, yeah. i mean I, yeah. I imagine he'd pop in here or there you know that siri might have memories of conversations with Geralt, or yeah you know um cut scenes going back to um moments between Geralt and siri might happen mm. um who knows who knows either way we'll it's, see. it's very exciting i think yeah did you see a Did you see a bump personally? Because the TV series obviously came out, and and it was a, it was a success. Did you see? Because obviously the sales got bumped when that came out. Sub mm. Substantial sales growth. Did you see any more interactions on your social medias, or did you feel that at all during that? Oh period? yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, uh, BBC. Um radio contacted me and, and had me come up to the BBC offices for an interview all about wow. uh, the Witcher Netflix show and my re my response to it and everything else. Um, On live TV? Uh, it was radio. Radio, actually. sorry, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember what the name of the show is, but it's a, it's a specialist game show on Radio 1, I think it is. That's a and, big deal, um, yeah. Yeah, so that was, that was kind of exciting. But yeah, I had journalists contacting me and and um wanting my opinion about the casting of henry cavill and about, oh, you would have uh, heard that once, a lot <laughs> oh i got a lot of questions about oh. that um and uh, and then once the show aired it was you know all about you know questions about what i thought about what they did and stuff and you know frankly i always knew it was going to be something different from the game because mm. Lauren Hishrich, the the showrunner she'd been really clear from, right from the beginning that they were basing the entire uh, TV series on the books and um, you know the, the games they deviate somewhat from the books the books are a really important uh, starting point for the games but then you know the games shoot off in all kinds of directions that maybe are hinted at in the books but aren't necessarily explored fully um, or aren't even mentioned so the Witcher Netflix series I knew was gonna you know be a whole different kettle of fish same world, same characters, but a different, different feel, different vibe, everything else, and um, yeah, I, I mean, I personally, I was thrilled when Henry was cast. I thought he, he, you know, I mean, there were some early, early kind of like, oh wow, you know, Henry Cavill, wow, mm. okay, interesting, interesting choice, but then the more I kind of looked at it, the more I thought, actually, I'm, I think he's going to be really good. Mm. Um, she's certainly got the physique. And now we've you know, oh, now not we've as good as you though. Oh no, yeah, yeah, no. I, I, oh man, hands down, I beat Henry in a, you know, in a, in a stud contest. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs>